Ah, snow angels are fun, aren't they, Jethro? You like being out here in the cold. Wait, are you recording me? Are we starting the video right now? Yes. <laughs> All right, whatever, we're just gonna go with it. What's going on, everybody? Today, we are here at 1024 Claverack Road, obviously making snow angels, because snow's fun, right? We, it's the Northeast. We got snow. We all love it here. Well, some of us. Anyway, we have a nice raised ranch house here. It's um, built in 1989. It has tons to offer. Instead of making snow angels, let's go inside and check this place out. So a couple more things I want to tell you about before we head on the inside. One, making snow angels in the front yard is great because there's over five acres. Plenty of room in the front and the back. We have Route 187. We're right off Route 187 on Claverack Road, close to Tawanda and Wysox, within 10 minutes of each city. And uh, nice pool area out back. Let's head on the inside and show you a little bit more. First thing you walk into is an enormous two-car garage. One of my favorite parts about the house because who doesn't want a nice garage that's covered and spacious. Plenty of room for two cars, lawnmower, they got all kinds of stuff in here and you could too. In the inside, we'll take off our coat. This is really hot in here, which is a good thing. I'll set that right there for now. So you walk into a sitting room. This was actually uh, originally a breezeway. That door, this door connects to the garage, connects to the house. Family said, we're just gonna finish this. And I don't blame them because I love this space. It's really cozy. It feels more of like a den to me, but they've used it as a, like a family room. Like the sliding glass doors, plenty of natural light in this house. Notice the knotty pine all throughout that room in the office. Walking into a formal dining room, uh, big, big enough table to fit in here. I like how it's actually longer. It just fits better for a formal dining room. Then we come into a kitchen. Keep it open mind with me. I know. You're seeing wallpaper. You're seeing, you know, a little bit older cabinets and maybe the older, older countertops. I think it works well with this kitchen. It works well with the rest of the house. Personally, I don't think I would update it too much, but you could, and you could do it for cost-effective options. But it's a spacious kitchen. You have an option to add an island. Think of a big island here. If you're gonna remodel, speaking of that, think of a big island right here. Perfect setting for it. You can still have another table here. I mean, that's a big enough, biggest table as the one you just saw. So two tables, nice to have that option. Dishwasher, stove, refrigerator, everything conveys with this house. Let's see the outback over here. One thing I talked about early on in the when we were walking in the house was the back patio, the, the pool area. Unfortunately, the pool is not covered, or it is covered right now because it's obviously the middle of winter. But this is a nice back deck area. Look at, you know, th picture the spring, the summer, lots to do out here, places to entertain. You got your grill over here. Come on up here real quick. You know, if it was probably spring or summer, I'd probably just jump right in there, but it's not, it's covered. But it looks nice. It's like the in-ground pool feel, but above ground, and the nice deck that wraps around the whole thing. A really cool option. Bench here. Love the out, out back patio set. The basement's a little surprised. That's cool, but we'll get there. Bear with me. Let's walk around here. Just gonna get lost in this house. Second living room, den, whatever you want to use it for, whether the first living room you saw, you want to use that as your living room, family room. This is also. Uh, they use it as a living room. I would use it as like a second office, maybe a den office slash thing. Um, big enough to do that with. All right. The last four rooms, five rooms technically, upstairs. This way. Laundry behind here. So you stand in the middle here and you have three bedrooms. One, two, three. A full bath behind me and a master bath over here. Let's see the first room here. I'll let you walk in and see that. After you're done there, second bedroom. Before we head into the master bathroom, check out the full bath in the hallway. So finally we have your master 
bedroom, which has an attached master bathroom. Check that out inside. And while you're in there, check out the bathroom. Fully updated. Just goes to show you what this house could look like if you did decide to update it. Plenty of space. All right, finally, the basement. It's fully finished and you're gonna love it. Meet me down there. Finally, the basement. You're gonna love this space down here. First off, if you're buying this house, you are the now, now the person in your family that's hosting all the family gatherings for all the holidays or just having the gatherings whenever because this space is perfect for a time like this in the winter where you have to sometimes stay inside, it's a little too cold outside. And then look at everything else this place has to offer. The pool table, you got the washer toss over here. You have your darts and a full bar. So plenty of room for entertaining and all kinds of fun games in this basement. So last but not least, we have the bathroom that's downstairs. They decided to add a full bath down here because they spent so much time down here and I can definitely see why. It has your toilet, your sink, there's actually a jacuzzi tub down there or in here right now, so check that out. So let's do a quick recap of everything that we just saw today at 1024 Claverack Road right here in Wysox. First off, let's start with a four bedroom house, four bedrooms. Also, on the other hand, we have three full bathrooms, counting the one in the master bathroom. Again, we have almost 4,000 finished square feet in this house. Along with that, we have a great finished basement area, plenty of room for entertainment. The pool that wasn't uncovered that you saw, but has endless potential out back for entertainment. And we're situated on a five, over five acre parcel. If you're interested in this house or you know somebody that's interested in this house, please hit that send message button below Get in contact with me and let's get you in here for a private showing. Take care.